Hi folks, it's Keith Beardsley of the Beardsley team here with another series of videos which we refer to as what's an offer. In other words, we're answering your questions about what's involved when you write an offer, what does an offer look like. It's exceptionally important for first time buyers that you understand the process. If you've bought before, maybe five, 10 years ago, that type of thing, these, these documents do change. Now this applies to Ontario and the area that we serve, which is basically the greater Ottawa area. So let's get down to basics. It'll be a series of videos. The first one will be general, and then after that, we'll get into specific issues in each offer. So what's an offer? Well, an offer is actually a legal document. This is where the buyer is making a proposal to a seller. It's sometimes the other way around, but very rare. So the buyer is making a proposal to a seller to buy their property, whatever that property happens to be. So it's a legal process, and it's got to be followed correctly because in the end, lawyers are going to be involved. So what does an offer look like? Well, very simple. There's your offer. That's page one. And while we call it an offer, and most people refer to it as an offer, it's actually legally, it's an agreement of, of purchase and sale. All right, that's the legal definition for it. So if we look at an offer, it's essentially five pages, and then you have another page called a Schedule A, which can be any number of pages. And once in a while, you'll see a Schedule B, which we can get into at another time. So on the main page, and again, this is if you're a first time buyer, it's very important to understand that. So what do we have on page one? Well, page one, it's going to have obviously your names. It's going to have the names of the sellers. It's going to have the address. It also has the legal description, which is very important because you need to know the property you're buying is actually the one you think it is. And again, this is work mainly for the lawyers. They're going to go through this and double check everything for you. The next thing that's really important for you is going to be the purchase price. What price are you offering that seller? You can offer them full price, it's rare. On occasion when there's bidding war, some people will go higher than the asking price, but this is something you discuss with your agent who will sit down with you and suggest where you come in on that particular property. So you're gonna put down, let's say, the property's 330,000 asking price, you could come in anywhere around that price. And let's assume in this case, you're going to come in at 325, just for the sake of argument. That's where you write it. That's where you write $325,000 for that particular property. It's in longhand. It's also uh, written down in numbers. So there's absolutely no mistake as to what it is that you're saying. You will also have a deposit. What, what's the deposit? Well, in Ottawa, a lot of properties go with a $1,000 deposit. It's beginning to push upwards over the years because that $1,000 has been around since I've been doing real estate, which is about 1989. So we're now seeing requests for larger deposits from sellers. Uh, sellers are saying, you know, no, $1,000 isn't good enough. I want 3,000 down, 5,000 down, whatever it is. So you as the buyer have to be prepared for that. Now the deposit must go into, if you get an agreement, the deposit must go into the other company Usually within 24 hours, maybe a maximum, depending on whether it's a weekend or not. You might have 48 hours, but plan on 24 hours to get a check into the other, into the agent so they can drop it off at the other office. Some companies like our office in Century 21 Action Power Team, we actually will take an e-transfer, which makes it a lot easier process for you. So those are the, are the first parts, address, legal description, your names, seller's names, the amount that you're offering for that house, and again, the amount of the deposit that you're putting down. So that's the first part of page one. Page one also has a lot of other information which is absolutely crucial to the success of your trying to buy that property.